All right, guys, we'll go ahead and get started um, for the group lesson today. Like I said, we're going to just go over kind of general usage of uh, Thinkorswim. A lot of this stuff will carry over to whatever brokerage you're using. Um, some of it will look a little different. Some of it might operate a little different. But generally speaking, this will be a nice kind of overview of how to operate, you know, whatever system you're using. In, in my specific case today, it's going to be Thinkorswim. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to raise your hand or you can type in the chat. Uh, they can be geared towards kind of what we're going over or if you have any questions on other topics, uh, we can cover that as well. Um, again, I am recording this, so I can't share my screen at the moment, but we will have this recorded and I'll edit it uh, and we'll post it as a video for you guys to go back and see in real time. If you would like to though, uh, follow along on whatever you're trading on. Um, so. We'll get right into it. Again, this is thing or some specific, but um, up on the top left, you kind of have, you know, your information when it comes to, um, you know, your account size, what your your buying power is, uh, what your, you know, liquid for the day. Uh, if you can use margin, it'll show that. Um, right now I can use, looks like about 4X margin. Um, and that'll obviously fluctuate as you uh, trade, make and lose money. Um, right below that, um, and again, this is mostly Jason's setup. I've tweaked a little couple things here and there. Um, but again, you'll have your watch list. So I actually have three different watch lists. Um, if you watch this back, you'll see I have one here, one here, one here. The top one I really use for like small caps. Um, kind of, I'll clean this up here and there, maybe update it if we have silver runners throughout the day. Put those there, keep an eye on them. Um, and then under that, I have uh, another watch list that's a smaller one, um, not much different than my main one. And then under that, I'll have my third one, which is my main one. Um, and you can just go through, click on these, takes you right to the stock pretty quickly. Uh, under that, uh, again, we're on the left side. Um, there's other tabs like calculator if you need you know, a quick calculator. Um, you can have a quick chart. Um, so if you click on this, you can type in you know, a ticker and see. Uh, you can set this to whatever time frame you want um, and just have a, a little snapshot of, of what's going on with that. Um, you can have another watch list, uh, your percent gains, and then there's another one that's called Live News. Um, again, you can kind of change that to whatever ticker and just take, see a quick snapshot of, you know, if any news came out on that stock. Uh, moving over to kind of the, the main screen, if you will. Um, you got the monitor tab. Um, trading is obviously where we do a lot um, when we use the active trader if you go to all products this is where you would kind of get into trading options um, forex here as well which we don't do um, you could even trade futures which again we don't do we stick to the active trader and uh, generally trade securities um, you can go to analyze you know type in some tickers um, if you go to scan this is the scanner we have set up um, if you don't you can set this up again I've tweaked it a little bit generally speaking we all go kind of by the same numbers um let's hit the scan see if there's anything on it today nope so nothing currently fits our criteria um based off of volume uh percent gain and you know the other factors that we take into account um over to the right of scan there's market watch uh, i don't really use this um charts is a good one uh, if you want to chart something um i don't know let's, let's go to gme um, you can change the time frame up here. Um, you can have the 180 day, four hour. That's that's kind of the six month chart, if you will. Um, that's kind of get a, a snapshot of the overall, you know, what that stock's doing. Uh, you can even change it down to something like the one minute, five minute. Again, you you can go into to anything here. Take it to a one year. Put it on the daily, um, and you can really break down things if you want to. You know, draw resistance lines or supports or you know patterns uh, which we can get into in another lesson as well so uh, that's the charting and you can you know if you want to change these to have several different ones uh, you go to the right of the ticker right here this five so you come down here if you want these to show different um, you just click on that and unlink it or, or just make it you know a different color different number and you can have different tickers up at the same time um, we don't really use the tools or education uh, tab. And then, so we'll go back to trading. 
Um, again, this is where we kind of operate, if you will. Um, I personally have the five minute chart right here at the top. Uh, and I have my one minute down here. Um, I have VWAP, top, middle, and bottom um, as indicators. And then I also have uh, an EMA. And then again, and these are all linked like we just talked about in the charting with these right here. You can link all these. So as long as these are linked, all of this stuff will change in real time as you change tickers. And then again, five minute here, one minute here, and over here I have my six month chart. Um, and you can kind of zoom in, zoom out, do what you want there. Um, over here to the right of the five minute chart, so top right of your screen. Um, this is your, this is the ladder. This is kind of where you're gonna trade. You're gonna put in your orders. Um, here's your quantities. Uh, and all this stuff is customizable. You can add, you know, these buttons, take some away. You can change these figures, you know, just go here and, and go into the specific property you wanna change. Um, you can even take that away if, if all you do is is just buy and sell market and you you know want to take up a little less of your screen you can do that but i love the ladder i use the ladder probably 95 percent of the time i'm trading um so i'll have this up you can change your quantities um this is always usually going to be single if you're trading with oco brackets uh, i mean you can change it to that and that's just another type of trading is order cancel order you'll put in a trade so you want to enter here um, you know, if it, it goes up to this price, sell or buy. If it goes down to this price, sell or buy. And whichever happens first, it'll cancel the other out. Um, again, that, that can even be another lesson, um, just order types. Uh, this is very important. If you don't have this on, you want this on, especially for the way that we trade. Trading high momentum gappers, they move very quickly. You want this auto send on. That way, when you put an order in, it's not going to pop this box up down here and say, are you sure you want to do this? So definitely have that auto send check there. Check the chat real quick, see if we have any specific questions. Uh, Brazuka, yeah, so I can't share my screen in this format of a group lesson, um, but I am recording it. And you can kind of follow along with me if you'd like, um, you know, as I'm talking about the different things, kind of do it. Um, if you have any questions, obviously we'll answer those. But once this is recorded, you can kind of go back and watch it back. Yeah, no problem. F -C -E -L. So again, this is the ladder. Um, these are buy buttons. These are, if I trade pre-market or after hours, um, obviously it can't be a market or it has to be a limit. Um, and most of the time, you can't even use the ladder. So buy the ask, join the bid. Um, those are buys, join the ask, sell the bid. Those are sells. Those are the buttons I would use if you're trading pre-market or after hours. Again, the greens are buys. The reds are cells. And then this is obviously the ladder. Um, so we're looking at GME. Let's say I wanted to buy 100 shares of GME. So if you look where my mouse is, so I'm hovering over 137.11. But you'll see that the price is 137.08 right now. So you see how it says buy limit next to it? So that's going to be a limit order. So when you put that in, it's basically going to fill it. And then if you want to do like a stop, so so look right here. I'm scrolling on the ladder. I'm scrolling. It says limit to the left of my mouse. Buy 100 limit. So when I come up here, now it says stop. That's because it is above the current market price. So if I put in an order right here on the ladder as a stop, that order is not going to get filled until this stock shoots up to right here, it would be 137.41. Uh, again, that can even be a whole other lesson. Um, limit orders, stop limits, and things like that, but just another thing to keep in mind while we're going over the ladder. And same thing with the sells, um, so it'd be opposite. So over here on the buy, since we're above the price, it's a stop. You come over here and sell, well, now it's opposite. We're above the price, so if we sell right now, it's just a limit order, but if we come, see the prices right here? If we come below it, Boom, now it's a stop. And so right here in this area, you see how the price is up here, but it still says limit. That's just because of the slippage. So the bid and the ask will kind of generally dictate whether it's a stop or limit. But if you come under, in this case, 
um, the ask, it would be a stop. So again, definitely utilize the ladder. Um, um, Spank, so yeah, um, like I mentioned when we started the lesson, I'm not able to share my screen currently in the group setting that we are in, but I am recording this. <clears throat> So if you want to follow along in real time, just kind of do and, and go where I'm talking about. And um, when this is over, I have it recorded and I'm going to edit it so you guys can all go watch it back in real time. But again, if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to raise your hand or type them in the chat. We're just kind of going over the general, you know, operation of thinkorswim here. So that's ladder, very important. Uh, use it all the time. Right to the right of this, um, you have your time and sales. Um, you can adjust this to show, you know, different values and different sizes. Um, if you don't want to see individual, like right here is a one, one, four, one. Like these are super small. You can change this to only see certain orders. Um, and this is going to scroll in real time as the order book is filled. Um, and this is where you're going to see the quantity. Um, so it'd be this many shares at this price at this time. And this really helps with, uh, with halt plays. So if, if, uh, if a stock halts, this is gonna stop, this won't move anymore. And this top time right here, if it's a five minute halt, just take five minutes in the future from that time and that's when it should resume. Um, pretty simple there, time and sales. Um, down here, this is the news. Um, and again, you can even add and subtract stuff from this. All these tabs over here on the right, um, if it's not highlighted, you can click it and it'll add it. Or if it is highlighted, you can click it, it'll take it away. Again, this is just a setup I have. Uh, this is what I prefer and this is what I generally use. So this is the news. Um, if news comes out, like for GME this morning at 6.48 a.m., um, news came out. Um, you can click on that. You can read it in depth if you like, or you can just hover over it. And it'll kind of show up. The, the, the main line right there will show up and you can just read quickly over that. And then to the right of the news, um, you have the, the level two. This is very important again in, in the type of trading we do. Um, high momentum gappers usually have you know lower flow, uh, uh, higher liquidity. Um, so they're gonna move a lot quicker. These orders are gonna be a lot bigger. Um, let me actually go to the scanner. Let's take a look at one. So something that's on the scanner right now QTT, um, so look over here. This is a, a pretty big order right here. Uh, if you look on the right side, it's 109 shares. Someone at $2 is gonna sell that. Um, and you can see it on the ladder here too. Okay, so some of that just got filled. Um, so the orders that are up here, you can kind of see down here. Look at this, 183 stacked up at 198. Come down here, add all these up at 198. Um, should be about what it's showing there. And these are gonna get filled again in real time. So these are gonna be ever changing, but you can really see you know, which side of the tape is being stacked up. So right there it was buyers and now it's sellers. Look how many more sellers over here. And up here you can see all these sellers. And then look, all these sellers getting filled on the right on the time of sales. Look at all that red. So you use all of these together to really kind of decide and, and kind of navigate through a trade. Looks like we've got a couple questions here. Uh, why don't you just hop into the PC chat instead and go live? Like Jason does. Uh, Isaiah, this is the format uh, he wants to do group lessons in. Um, that way, you know, we have a speaker and then, you know, people can raise their hands and, and whatnot. So um, the format we're doing the group lessons in is uh, how Jason wants it done. So uh, that's what we're doing. I know it, it would be better if you guys could see my screen in real time. But again, that's just how uh, he wants it done. So that's what we're doing. Obviously, we, we can and if need be, will adjust. Uh, we're always trying to make things better for you guys. Um, 107 said, you have the VWAP study with the three different lines. Can you go over any other studies? Uh, so yeah, I only have, um, if you look at my chart here, um, I have a moving average. Um, this, this is the nine EMA. And then, which is exponential moving average. And then this is the 13. Again, I don't, I don't think Jason has 13. I think he only has the nine. Um, I use this, I really don't use it a lot to be honest. And then yeah, the VWAP, so this is the top, this is the middle, this is the bottom. Um, I think Jason might only even use the middle, if that, anymore. Um, he doesn't use that a whole lot anymore, but um, generally speaking, if you 
you know, talk to a lot of people, the top one's going to be, you know, it's pretty overextended. It might be time to sell. The middle one can act as support or resistance. And then the bottom one, it could be a little overextended. Might might be a good time to buy. So um, that's how VWAP works. And then, again, the, the two EMAs I have, um, that's how I use those as well. All right, so we talked about the level two. Um, and generally speaking, yeah, that's basically kind of the operation of Take or Swim. And again, a lot of this stuff is going to carry over to whatever um, system or, or brokerage you guys are using. Um, but yeah, that's how my Think or Swim is set up. Yours, if you have Jason set up, will be very, very similar. Again, I've changed a few things here and there. Uh, you can see on the five minute here, I added a little, little volume deal. It kind of tells you the total and the last bar and it shows you you know, on that candle, if it was a lot of buying or if it was a lot of selling, um, just little stuff like that you can add. Uh, and again, a lot of the stuff, if you don't want it or need it, you can take it away and um, clean it up and just have less. A lot of times in trading, less is more. Um, that goes for, you know, indicators, that goes for strategies, even overall trades. A lot of times, less is more. So I'm listening, but sometimes it's lagging for me. Um, yeah, I would check your, uh, connection again, if, if you are having troubles, uh, hearing, um, hopefully you can get that figured out. Uh, but again, if not, we are recording this and you'll be able to see this, uh, as a whole, hear what I'm saying and, and see what I'm talking about in real time. SJ. Did anyone have any questions about kind of using Thinkorswim or again, this is a kind of an open setting for a group lesson. You can ask a question about any topic you, you have a, a question about. If not, that's okay. Uh, I appreciate you guys kind of taking your time to show up to the lesson. Um, I know your time is valuable um, and we just want to continue to pour into you guys and really, you know, train you up and answer all your questions and, and get you guys comfortable with um, trading and, and kind of how we do things uh, as we'll just say profit chasers as a whole. Again, we trade, uh, generally speaking, high momentum gappers. Um, we really want you to get you guys comfortable so that when the market does turn, um, you're ready and you're comfortable and you can make an exponential amount of money. Um, we're seeing a little glimpse of it uh, this week. We're, we're seeing a little bit more opportunity. We're seeing stocks actually do, you know, what they should do. Um, and that's going to continue, hopefully, uh, in the future. The market obviously is going to turn eventually, but um, and it'll get easier and easier as the market gets better for you to make money because you put the time in right now. Uh, Dubon says, how do I set alerts? Um, so again, right now we're just on GME. Um, if you want to right click on, let's just say I'm, I'm using the five minute chart, you can hit create alert right here. Um, so you'll have the, the symbol right here. Uh, we're on GME. Um, just keep that on stock um, price. Um, we'll just do mark and then you can do at or above. So you can set your price right here. Um, let's just say if if GME gets to 150 and we want to know if it gets at or above that price, um, and then you can even put a note if you want, but that's all you have to do. And you'll see right here, it sets it and you hit create. And now you'll see right here, this little yellow mark now you have an alert set. So if this comes up to 149.99, it's gonna ping your alert because you set it for at or above. So when it hits that price and goes above, you're gonna get alerted there. And that's how you set an alert. And that's for any stock. Is there a way to see current positions like on the app? Um, yeah, so if you're using Thinkorswim specifically, um, I'll just open my app here. You, you guys won't be able to see this, obviously, because it's on my phone. 
Uh, but if you open thinkorswim and on the bottom you go to positions um, this will show you all the trades you've taken or are currently in um, so it'll have it'll say the ticker will be all the way on the left um, next to that it'll say mark and that's just the current price next to that if you are currently in that trade it'll show your open p l and then to the right of that it'll show you know if you've closed that trade how much you made and then on the bottom it'll show um, just kind of a totality of your account so how much you've made how much is currently open in the trades you have and then your total account balance there see if anybody's raised their hand no. Um, Stefan, if you have a, a specific question, if you want to go ahead and ask her now, um, I can try to answer for, for you. If not, you can, you know, DM me or Jason or Dagan or Noah, we can help you out. Um, we don't want you to, to kind of feel lost and not know where to follow things. UNG. Perfect. Let's check out the scanner, see if anything's no, still nothing's hitting. Um, so yeah, we went over kind of the basic operations of Thinkorswim and um, how we use things and why we do things the way we do. Um, if you have any specific questions geared towards uh, what we talked about, again, feel free to DM me. And again, these Thursday lessons, these Thursday group lessons are kind of open forum. I'm going to come in with a general topic uh, that we'll go over. Um, and obviously you guys can ask questions about what we're talking about or just, you know, any question in general about anything you want to know or, or are confused about or anything like that. Again, we're going to continue to do this every week. We're going to try to continue to better it every week and we're going to continue to pour in education and value and, um, all that we can to help each and every one of us, including ourselves, you know, myself, Jason, Dagan, we're, we're always going to continue to learn, um, and make profit chasers better. So. Um, keep showing up. Uh, I definitely appreciate you guys taking the time out to do this. Hopefully you learned a little something. I know this is pretty basic. These, these lessons are going to be these Thursday ones. Um, we have new people coming in every day, every week. Um, so we're going to just continue to try to make everyone comfortable and feel good about kind of what we're doing. So again, thanks guys for showing up. Um, I am going to chop this up. This is all recorded. I'll edit it and I'll post it so that everyone can kind of see it and that's another thing too, if if you guys ask questions in these and I'm recording it, you can always go back and kind of, you know, hear my answer or dissect it a little more or come up with, you know, more questions, things like that. So awesome, uh, great trading day. we got some, uh, some good opportunities, made a little bit of money. Hopefully you uh, gained a little knowledge from this group lesson. And like I said, just continue to show up every day and we're gonna keep grinding and the market turns, we're gonna make a ton of money, guys. Exciting stuff. All right, guys, if you think of any more questions, uh, feel free to DM me. Uh, if not, I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Have a good day.